We wanted to take a minute to thank our friends at thebikerlawyers.com. If you're ever in an accident in Iowa or Minnesota, make sure to call and ride the recovery road with the Biker Lawyers. All right, guys. So we are getting to do something today that has been like two years in the making because we tried to go last year and there wasn't enough snow. There still wasn't enough snow this year, so we had to go really far north. So we are snowmobiling in Vermont, which I know is not technically a motorcycle or two wheels, but it's it, is, it is a toy with a motor. I mean, I guess it's a toy, right? It's a toy. I mean, I would consider it a toy. Yeah. Um, so neither of us have ever done this, but we both are like winter sports people. Like if you guys watched last year, we had our skiing, me skiing in a bikini cameraman snowboarded and taped me um so we both grew up doing that we were teams went together all the time but we have never been snowmobiling so stay tuned i don't know what kind of footage we're gonna get because i don't know what to expect but we're gonna try our best to bring you guys along <laughs> y'all i forgot that i didn't say where we were so we're in vermont and also, Michael thought it was relevant. And oh, yeah, we're professionals. We watched, I think, two or three YouTube videos. So we're going to go ahead and rip up this mountain like it's, you know, say <laughs> <laughs> can't say that. I'll bleep it out. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, we watched the videos. We know all there is to know. What's that? <laughs> At the snowmobiling place now, they got some Polaris's and other stuff over there. We're about to go in and get ready. All right, we're here. We're going to build Vermont. There's the machines. Here we go. We just checked in, but we're going to go in and get geared up. Geared up. Look, I'm going to write ski color instead of my motorcycle color. Purple is your ski color, huh? Pink. Oh, okay. All right, y'all, we are inside. Snowmobiling Vermont. We got some cool animal heads on the wall. Hi guys, I'm Meg and this is Meg's Motorcycle Journey. If you're new to our channel, it is a moto vlog that follows my life on two wheels and cameraman comes along with me. If you haven't already, we would love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps us continue to make videos for you guys to enjoy. Um... We, as you saw, are on a snowmobiling trip. This is something that we have wanted to do for several years. We had the idea to go last year, but we went to PA and there wasn't enough snow. So we ended up doing our skiing, bikini skiing video that some of you were big fans of. At any rate, we did finally get to go this year, which was exciting. And I know it doesn't have two wheels, but it has a motor and it has a throttle. So it's sort of like two wheels. Anyway, we thought that you guys would still enjoy coming along with, with us, especially because we were on Polaris's and Polaris makes motorcycles, right? At any rate, this was the first time either of us had ever been on a snowmobile. Um, it was an option where you could do basically a 90-minute tour with a guide. 
So they started us off in a larger group with six of us and three guides. And then this footage is when they allowed us to split off two of us to each guide and go through the trails. So when you say you were two, you were a passenger, right? No? You I was driving. Oh, well, how did you do that when you were two? Was it a so tiny little snowmobile? Little, little, do you care if we put you on YouTube? Okay. She's little, awesome. Come um, here and ride with her. I forgot her name already, but she was badass. Her name was Claire. <laughs> no, Caitlin. 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 So there's called Kitty Cats. Okay. They're little 120s, and my dad got us pink and green ones, me and my brother. Oh, cute. And so we would just ride around the field in our yard. Okay. Which this is basically your, your yard, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is my uh, boss's property. This is... Okay. Okay, cool. That's all the signs in those snowmobiles. I was like, she's a rubble. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, we were like going the speed limit. I was like, all right, she's taking us for a ride. Yeah. It's beautiful. Trails. There's no fast than 35. Oh, they have a speed limit. Yeah, it's... didn't you see the signs? Okay. No fast than 35. Private property, people have it 15, 20. Okay. It's just depending if you're passing or half an hour. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Kids and all. Yeah. This house since I was about two years old. Oh, got it. So this was a vacation home. Yep. I moved up about five years ago. Cool. awesome time but it was actually different than I was anticipating I felt like I wouldn't have as much sort of chattering or sideward moving as I did which Michael says is because I was grabbing the handlebars too tightly and you can see that 
he's significantly smoother than I am. It also has a throttle that is simply pushing your thumb in. And I thought it was going to have a throttle like a dirt bike or a motorcycle, like a wrist throttle. So actually my thumb, my right hand where the throttle is, was in quite a bit of pain for several days after this. I also did not realize how snowmobiles, obviously they go fast. They have the ability to go fast, but how it feels like you're going faster at 35 on a snowmobile than it feels than when you're on, say, a dirt bike or a motorcycle. So those were some of the things that I think were a little different than I was anticipating. I've mentioned before on this channel that I grew up skiing, so I certainly saw folks riding snowmobiles. You all right? Yeah. Take it slow. I'm cool. Just, did I flood it or something? Did it get flooded? Hold on, she's saying flooded. I don't know, I guess I took that turn a little much. That's oh, fine. You alright? Is this still on? I'm fine, yeah. All right. Oh no, it's not still on. But yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I got that one. Sweet, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. It was quite the experience. And actually, when we uh, slept there that night, we woke up to 14 fresh inches of snow, which was pretty cool because we didn't get to have much of a winter in Maryland. We typically get a lot more snow than we did this year. So it was nice for us to get a little taste of winter for the first time this year um we are so excited because spring is upon us and we're gonna try to plan a season opening ride we have some other stuff planned maybe like one night of camping if y'all are regulars of our channel you'll know how entertaining that always is we are not going to be able to go to as many bike weeks this year as we have in the past and to go on as many trips because we are saving up time and money for our cross-country trip. We are going to stop in Sturgis on our cross-country trip and make several other stops. So we will let you guys know because we hope to do a couple of meet and greet 
for those of you on the West Coast that haven't really gotten an opportunity to meet us. As always, guys, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Ride safe.